scary Halloween eyeshadow. <laughs> And again, you want to get that eyebrow, the point of your eyebrow should match passing from your nose through the iris up through the eye. And again, you have that 45 degree angle following the face up. I'm just going to blend a little bit more and catch all those little, sometimes you have little drips and powders that end up in places you don't want to have them. Blend a little bit. Now we could also contour the nose. Robin doesn't need it really, but um, I'm going to show it anyway. Blend the neck again. And then we'll move to lips. Yep. Eyeshadow brush, same black. You can contour the nose, make it really thin and pointy, like vampire nose thing. You don't have to. I actually don't like doing it because it adds too much makeup to the face. But it looks really, really good as far as like costuming is concerned. And you would bring it down from right where you would did that little circular thing. Very, very light. I mean, it's almost imperceptible gray. A little thing with the lightest touch, and then you can follow the natural crease of your nose and make her look really pointy but still pretty and dead. You know, kind of like it looks like 50s, like the monsters dead. Now, I'm not going to go through the mascara and everything. We can all apply mascara and eyeliner. You want to tight line your eyes on the bottom and on the top, and then heavy mascara. Notice that, close your eyes, Robin, that we left the lid white with the foundation. It's really important to do that because it sets the eyes back, and you have this really deep set eye. It makes your eyelid pop. Then, you, of course, you're going to rim with the black liner, very, very thin. Don't even do a big cat eye, just rim the outside of your eye and tight line on the inside of your eyelashes, the water line. Okay, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna move to the lips, but the lips are very minimal. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? I should have had out the other lipstick, but okay. Is make the bottom lip very, very pale. And already, I already had applied the um, foundation onto the lip. But if you have that natural pink of your lip showing on the inside, it, it actually looks really creepy <laughs> when it shows up. I'm going to take our, our iridescent white and just powder a little bit on the edge of the bottom lip. And then on the top, I'm going to take black. I think the one thing I left is the black lipstick. Maybe a little bit lighter. Thank you. I'm using a liquid liner brush. It's safe for your lips anyway. And it's been in my car, so it's very dry. <laughs> I was thinking of doing very small lips. Almost like you're drawing a little M on the natural lip. And then, of course, we're filling in. I'm going to switch to my other brush. This is more comfortable. Sorry, Anna.
And you can use your regular store-bought black lipstick. You can even do this with red. It looks really, really cool with red. For our purposes, since we're dead and deadly and evil, I kind of like the black. And I'm going to put a little bit of black on the bottom lip and then drag it down. <laughs> you end up licking your lips. Can you see? Are we even? Almost. Let me line it. Go ahead and close your eyes. Don't do the cat eye thing. Don't whip whisk it out or anything like that. Just do a very, very simple line against the lashes. All right. And there you are. With your black lips. <laughs> it's creepy. It looks really cool with red, too. So we can do that. And I want to show it straight onto the camera. And that's it. That's what you're going to be doing. Thank you. You're welcome. It's the Brad Master Mix. Big Pimpin' Babies.